I want to rebuild the trust between people and machine, people to people or people to corporation. And that could be a way. If that can be success, we can think about a lot of different applications on the blockchain, not purely related to you know, coins and that kind of stuff, but for the real use on our daily life. Uh, my name is Henry L. Um, I'm, I'm a Hong Kong you know, uh, Chinese relations. Oh, I focus more on the um, blockchain projects, especially on crypto. Yeah, because we have a crypto investment fund, and then recently we also built our own, you know, crypto exchanges, and that's why we want to focus more on helping, you know, company to create their own crypto, what we call the tokenization, and also we can support them on the technical side as well because we have a team of people who can, you know, help them to do the tokenization. Panda Exchange. The reason we want to build our own one is we we always thought that. Farewell, fair trade. In the world, in this whole world, we need to have everything in fair, equal, right? So we want to have fair trade. The only way to do that is to make our own playground. So we make our own exchange, which can be should be fair for investor, consumer, and even project owners. Honestly, for the exchange to get more popular is the key. But before we got real volumes, I want to create is the trust. A trust between the exchange and the user. We need to create a kind of trust. We need to demonstrate and show them, okay, we are fair pay. Okay, I have nothing to hide. After we can sure that we did it right, the customer will come back and come back and come back. And, and then we can build the trust. When you build the trust, we need to keep it. Okay, that is the, 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 the challenge. The challenge, the hardest part is how are you, how can you keep the trust as long as you can. So we are still looking into the way whether we can, how we can, you know, bring along and hopefully can sustain this kind of trust level. I mean, for me, the whole process is like a company going up from zero to hundred. Okay, in the pure, in the traditional U.S. market, where we have the angel VC people who are trying to give you some funding so that you can start your company up, right? After that is the growth period which you earn your own money and get some more investment from say investment banker or serious investor or family office because they have more funds to invest. Then after this period is going to be listed. I would say we are trying to go through the same mechanism if we can on the crypto. If they have the way to select which token is the is a good one, then I'm sure that 90% of it can be going through all this process and become a very successful token in the exchange. The original, you know, the idea about STO is they are tying up with the securities. So it's tying up with the company's share. So from my point of view on STO is everything have a value. And everything have a value means that they got to do valuation. Uh, I would say, you know, half, at least half of myself didn't trust the crypto that, that much, honestly. But we also saw that this is a new, what we call the new asset class. Just like the paper gold in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the past time. We trade gold, right? Because we trade physical gold, that got value, that is the asset value we can exchange with money and so on. So that's the value over there. Same thing, we, we are building something which trying to digitize some real assets, okay? If that could be possible, even the banks, even the financial institution, they will see this paper or this token could have the real value of it, and they will accept it. But before that comes, no one is going to accept a token without any real value at the back. So I will see when times come, we should put in more connection between the real true value of something like asset into the token and make it a true valuable kind of asset in the future. I think in the future, in the near future, you know, when, uh, when the STO is coming in, we bring in real value for the tokens as well. More, project, more and more projects could be more successful and that could be the time for more general you know, public to invest. We are trying to do, hopefully we can do a, helping a lot of different companies who are listed in, for example, in the US already, but they don't want, they want to do valuation on the tokens or even raise money or funds from the tokenization kind of process and that could be the way we want to put it in the exchange.